Okay, so you want to join a Blackstone Guild. Some guy on Reddit said you should join a guild with hideouts that owns territories or whatever, and that's where all the information that you want is will be found, and you'll be able to farm safely. But on the other hand, you've heard of these scary things like mandatory CTAs and Zerg slaves. Ooh. I'm going to hopefully clarify some of this because it's mostly a misalignment of goals. In order to hold Blackstone territories and maintain hideouts, someone needs to be able to fight to protect it. It might not be the people that own it, but someone has to be there to defend it. Or at least display the ability to fight for it enough to intimidate away opponents. <clears throat> Oftentimes, zones will go untouched for long periods of times, but it's because a guild slash alliance or even coalition at this point has shown that they will fight for it. Uh, even if it means being an honorless coward as an ally with half or more of the entire server. Uh, but why mandatory CTAs? A couple reasons. One, if, if someone is skipping CTAs, <clears throat> it demonstrates a misalignment of goals. Goals. It depends on your guild, of course, but my guild is there to fight. If you're not interested in fighting with the guild, then you should join a guild that aligns with your goals. Uh, reason number two is numbers are quite important in ZVZ, and a guild usually needs all the members it can get. <clears throat> Three, it's a kind of a blanket statement to prevent leeches. The guild is fighting and expending resources to take and maintain the terries and hideouts, and if someone never participates, why bother having them in the guild? <clears throat> Uh, one other weird misconception is that you have to log in every single day to participate. Uh, I've never been in or heard of a guild that requires you to be there every single day or they kick you. Um, I think maybe the only thing close is there's like the weird like Black Order mandatory uh, mage rating or whatever. I don't, I don't know anything about that. I don't speak Russian or participate during EU times. Um, <clears throat> but for most people, what the mandatory part means is that if you're on the game and available, they expect you to be there. So if you really aren't feeling up for it one day, or you're like busy doing other things, uh, I, you know, I don't show up to CTA because I play D&D on the weekends. That's, no, no one hates me for that. So if you really aren't feeling up to it one day, just don't be online during that time of the CTA. Uh, if you regularly aren't feeling up to it, the guild is probably going to notice, and you should honestly find a guild that is more accommodating. There are guilds out there that do like non-mandatory CTAs and stuff. Uh, also, if your guild is not engaging in the kind of content you like doing, then you should find another guild. If your guild has too many CTAs, then you should switch to one that is fewer or is non-mandatory. So if you just want to fame farm and level up your build, then you should not join a ZVZ guild. It's that simple, really. Uh, for me personally, uh, I, do not like, I do not like being in a guild that relies on turbo-blobbing smaller groups than sitting around wondering why no one will fight them. I'll tolerate it every now and then, but I can't do it for long periods of time. And it's not slavery when you opt into it. You don't get to complain about mega alliances when you choose to participate in one. <clears throat> Essentially what I'm saying is that you should join a guild that provides the content, the kind of content that you're interested in. Once you're in, you'll be expected to participate in that kind of content. Uh, and if you aren't participating in the content, the guild removes you. If the guild doesn't provide the content you are looking for, you go to a guild that does. <clears throat> <clears throat> 